particular welcome to all of the TFC fans. Uh, it's a good day, but I want to start out by making sure everyone understands our perception uh, for Ryan, Tim, myself, Larry, and our organization. We didn't accomplish anything today. Uh, we created a very good opportunity, but the hard work is in front of us. Uh, nothing is won today. Uh, in fact, by virtue of the alphabet, we are in last place today in the standings in the East Coast. So we, we know our place. We know this is a moment in time that creates a great opportunity. But we also know the great opportunity will be won by hard work, perseverance, and a commitment to excellence. And that's what lies in front of us today. I also want to talk a little bit about um, the kind of commitment we made uh, and the action that it took. So first and foremost, the, all of the credit for this really goes to the owners, to Larry Tannenbaum, to Bell, and to Rogers, and I want to give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> to, to do one DP is a smart move. To do two DPs is not the smartest thing we've ever done. And to do three is uh, financial suicide. But throughout it all, they made a commitment that they wanted to win. Uh, they were prepared to do whatever it took. And in particular, when the last opportunity came our way, I was amazed at their leadership, at their focus, and their intensity at doing something truly unique for Major League Soccer, for the sport of soccer, for TFC, and for the city of Toronto. So to Larry, thank you very much for your leadership. So a lot of people will criticize us for the commitment made, what they think uh, is the amount of money that we've made, uh, committed here. But I think a, a very simple saying we will steal from the Kennedys is, is appropriate today. Some people see things as they are and say why. Others dream of what can be and they say why not. Today is why not. Why can't we be great? <laughs> These fans, for seven years, have been unbelievable. They changed the fortune of this league. They changed the value of these clubs. They changed the, the environment within this community. They taught us all what it truly means to be a passionate fan of TFC. This is a payback to them today. They earned it, they deserve it, and this is full credit to you and your seven years' worth of patience. So let's get into it. Jermaine Defoe, when, uh, when Ryan started this process with me about six months ago, we, we decided we were going to swing for the fences. We, we wanted to go find people that were impactful, people that would make a difference in the sport, and people that had the character, the intensity, uh, and, and the vision to step up and be a DP. And they're unique. And number one on Ryan's list from day one was this man, Jermaine Defoe. It was unbelievable. And I want to, in particular, pay tribute to Jermaine and his family and Strewn, his agent, because this was not an easy decision. And at first, they weren't sure about this, and I don't blame them. But I also want to pay particular attention and thank Daniel Levy and Tottenham. This was a tough decision for them. We formed a business relationship, an ongoing relationship with them, and we'll be blessed by having Tottenham come in and play a friendly with us this summer. But we will have an ongoing relationship with them. And in particular, Jermaine will have an ongoing relationship with them for a few more matches before we see him come early March for Major League Soccer. I want to thank Daniel Levy. I want to thank Tottenham. I want to thank the Tottenham Spurs fans for giving us a chance to borrow Jermaine, to share Jermaine. And I appreciate the fact they were willing to think outside the box and allow us to pull this deal off. So. Jermaine Defoe, 14th leading scorer in the history of the English Premier League. Currently the fifth leading active player and scorer in the English Premier League. He is a 2010 World Cup participant and hopefully a 2014 World Cup participant with the English national team. He's had 55 appearances for the Lions. He is the all-time leader for Tottenham's European competition. He has the character brought on by Sandra, his mother, Andre is his uh, father-in-law, uh, his sister uh, Shanti, and the, the family that surrounds him. He has the, the character to step into this role, lead the charge, and help be an ambassador for this club, this city, and this game. 
I also want to thank Stroon Marshall, who's been through a few of these with us and represented Robbie Keane when we brought Robbie to L.A. He is a good friend. He believes in this league. He knows what we're building here, and he was relentless at helping us get this deal done. We're very grateful, Stroon. And I also want to thank, yes, Drake, who was very active in recruiting. We, <laughs> you got you to gotta give the boss coups. So he, he's currently hosting Saturday Night Live, or he'd be here today. But I want to thank Drake for getting involved and calling, reaching out to Jermaine and convincing him to come here. I also want to thank David Beckham, who went out of his way to approach uh, Jermaine and make him feel comfortable about the role that he was going to play and why now was the right time to do this.